Our Weed of the Week is actually one of the first grasses that Darren and I were able to identify when we were young. It's field sandburn. Well, yeah, we were able to identify it because the sandburr stuck to our pant legs yep. or our socks or our shoes yep. or our dog. Shoelaces. Uh, yep. that's, that's no fun picking those out. And obviously, we can identify field sandburr pretty easy when you see the burrs on the weed. But how about earlier in the season? When we look at field sandburr, to me, it's a little different shade of green than what we see foxtails being. So that's one thing that you can look at. Here's the no-brainer, though. Dig up the small weeds. With grass plants, the seed will be attached to the root, and if you've got a sand burr attached to the root, you know you're dealing with field sand burr. All right, so this is called field sand burr because usually we find it in sandier areas of fields. Well, why is that? My personal opinion is, yes, it maybe doesn't need quite as much moisture to to thrive as some of the other grasses, but I think a lot of it has to do with when you look at your crop in those sandy areas, the crop just doesn't do very well. So what happens is there's a lot more sunlight that gets to the ground, and basically, like we like to talk about crop canopy, crop canopy is the best weed killer there is. Well, if there's no crop canopy, then all of a sudden, field sandbur that does germinate a little later in the year can get its start. That's right, it's a warm season grass, so we're not gonna see this super early in the year. We're gonna see it popping up just a little bit later. So that's one of the reasons the pre-emerge herbicides haven't been great on field nope. sandbur. No, nope. they've been sketchy at best. So we were just talking about Outlook and Dual, you'll get some control, but it's just not that great. What we liked the best in the past was the old eradicane. You can still use Eptan, that's the same active ingredient in alfalfa. Eradicane we used to use in corn. In corn, you have to remember, those group 15s, just like in Milo, they're not going to work in corn either. Right. So we need Roundup or Liberty Post-Emerge, or you could use Accent Q if you had conventional corn post. Good news in soybeans, we have some great pre-products. It's the yellows, Trifluralum, Sonalan, and Prowl. Post-Emerge, Clethodum, or almost any grass killer will do a decent job on field sandbur. In wheat, we normally don't have a problem because we get our crop established, so crop canopy often chokes out field sandbur. You could start with prepare down, come back over the top with axial if you had some. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.